Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review. Welcome to the Rock and Review. I'm so thrilled to have on a, a friend of mine. We've been talking for years because we're both, uh, you know, very involved in the blues, except that Tom Hambridge is really involved in the blues, uh, obviously producing such artists as uh, Johnny Winter, Susan Tedeschi, Buddy Guy, uh, ZZ Top. The list can go on and on. I think, and, and I'm not even touching on all the country artists you've worked with. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's amazing. I, I get to work with all my heroes, you know, all the people that I grew up listening to or, or, or new artists that I, I'm like, wow, they, you know, so I'm just feel very blessed to get to write songs and make music with these folks. Well, it's so funny. I was telling somebody, uh, you know, before you came in for the show, it's like, you know, you may not know the name Tom Hambridge, but it's like, but you know the music. And I mean, you're Grammy Award winning. You've got all these different blues awards and everything. They're like littering in your basement. You know, you got to <laughs> yeah. like move them out of the way to put drums. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, some, it's funny because some people don't know that I even play drums because I write their songs yeah. or, or I produce the record. And then some people don't know that I produce records or whatever. So my right. songwriting friends, I just go in and write songs with, and they, they probably don't know that I tour or whatever. You know? And you have hundreds yeah. of songs that, uh, that have been recorded. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. It just... Uh, and and yeah. so, you know, and I got to ask you, you know... Uh, you, you do know, it long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you keep, Somebody's getting, gotta record you keep getting better, <laughs> you know, and, and when you were going to Berkeley, you know, and, and getting your degree and doing all that, did you think it was going to lead you here, you know, from playing drums? And also, and like I told you, you tricked me. I didn't realize how great your voice was. Oh, well, And, and your voice just sounds amazing on this album. It really reminds me of like uh, Harry Nielsen and like one of the songs oh, kind of has gotcha. like a little feet feel to it. Oh, yeah. Well, I, you know, I grew up listening to those guys. So, I mean, I think I'm probably the culmination of all the influences, you know, so that's why I sound like or write music like I do. Fortunately, I, I love all kinds of music, so it all kind of creeps into what I do. And, yeah. and it also makes it so if, I, if I'm writing a country song or something that Rascal Flatts is going to record or something that... Leonard Skinner is going to record right. I mean, you know, or, or a pop song or a, a TV or blues song. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I go, oh, geez, I love Muddy Waters. Let me try that. You know, so wow. I like all kinds of music. You know, well, so. and, and your song crafting is just amazing. But I'm so thrilled. I got to tell you with the new album that you came out with, the NOLA Sessions. And, uh, and I know it's, it's doing so well on the charts and getting a lot of airplay. I like it that fans are coming to the Buddy Guy concerts. That you're playing drums with Buddy. Right, right. And they have on the NOLA Sessions t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Um, the response is really overwhelming. I mean, because I haven't, I've been so busy making records for other people that I haven't put out one of my records. Right. Like, I think I think someone said you made like 35 albums, and you haven't done a follow up to your record. You know, How for crazy other people. Is that? So it it is crazy. So luckily, I was nudged by the record company and and some folks to just just put out a record and I've had, I've got some fans that wanted to wanted me to follow up my last one yeah. so uh, you know I, I decided to go to New Orleans and and um, I wanted to get out of Nashville where I make tons of records right just go somewhere else uh, where I, there's a vibrant music scene and there's wonderful players that I have not worked with the, and, and I gotta tell you too in this album and when you buy this album you're gonna hear what I hear to where the the B3 coming through, oh, the yeah. slide guitar on here is just amazing. Oh yeah, Sonny Landreth. Is, uh, the you the know. finger picking guitar on Faith, which I love oh, that yeah. song. Yeah. Um, each song, you know, it, and and I think it comes from your background, Tom, to where it's got such a depth lyrically, but also musically, you know, with those musicians that you brought in, and you even have uh, you know your daughters on here. Yeah, yeah, my daughters Sarah and Rachel. Yeah, they they are wonderful songwriters and singers, and and. Um, Matter of fact, you know, we're getting around to making a record for them because they, they do gigs and they play all over the place and yeah. they've opened shows. And they go by uh, Sir Rachel. Sir Rachel. Yeah. I want to make sure I pronounce it Sarah right. Sarah and Rachel. Sir Rachel. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, they sing on I Love Everything, which is uh, a song uh, that's, that seems to be getting uh, a lot of airplay and great response. It's and, such a positive message. Oh, thanks. Well, yeah, yeah. Which think, everybody can use. Yeah, I think we can use that right now. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, just enjoy life. Right. Know, and, uh, yeah. Well, and then, you know, in between, you know, and so our viewers know, Tom, you know, and I got to brag on you some to where, you know, you're, you're touring with Buddy Guy, playing drums for him. You've helped out Leonard Skinner. If you follow Tom on social, you're going to see some great clips where the Leonard Skinner guys come up and harass Tom. <laughs> and so, you know, you're just doing all this stuff. You still go in and sit in at the Bluebird once in a while. Yeah, I do. Well, I, I do. I try to do a show there, a songwriter show, you yeah. know, uh, every few months or so. Yeah, so. It's, I don't know how you do it all. Well, 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I love making music. I love creating. So whenever there's an opportunity, even if it's kind of a downtime and someone says, hey, uh, I'm in town and I'd love to write a song with you, you know, and I go, well, geez, I'm writing until uh, 9 o'clock tonight. Maybe we, are you around later? Yeah. And, they're, and they're like, like when? I go, like, midnight? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll write it. And so, because oh, I just amazing. love creating. I just love making Well, music, and it so. shows. And I think, you know, all of the other artists that you've worked with that I've had on the show, you know, Joe Bonamassa, Casey James, all those that you've worked with, they've got nothing but positive compliments about you. But I, I think also, like you said, a, a lot of the public and a lot of the musicians even don't know the depth of, of your creativity that you're not only limited to writing songs and producing, but a fantastic drummer, you know, first call for a lot of people. You know, I didn't know until I was reading that, you know, with a lot of the rocker guys like Bo Diddley and all these people and Chuck Berry, you were also helping coordinate bands for them yeah. as they were touring around the United States. Yeah, those were, I learned a lot from, from doing that, especially with legends like Bo Diddley and Chuck Berry <sighs> and people like that. And I was, uh, it was an honor to uh, travel. That's how I kind of, you know, whatever, cut my teeth, you know. Right. Uh, with Roy Buchanan and oh all God. these people you know, that I toured. And the Roy Buchanan and, you know. gig, now that was pretty early, like out of college, right? Yeah, yeah. I was still in college. I remember asking a couple of professors, I said, you know, am I going to, Am I going to fail if I go out on the road and do? They're like, "What do you do? What do you got to do?" And I go, "Well, I got to tour uh, this tour with Roy Buchanan or this tour with Chuck Berry." And they're like, "Go, just go do it, just go do it." And I, I said, "Really? You're okay with that? I'll be back." And so they, they, they. Uh, that's how I knew because they were, they were musicians that now right. teach. Go, I would love to do that. Do that, and and thank goodness you, know, you were so, going to Berkeley. Yeah, so that worked out, you know. Yeah. But yeah, so I was really young when I did a lot of that stuff. Yeah, and Roy Buchanan, I mean, come on. That's oh monster. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. When I look back <laughs> on that stuff, yeah. Uh, and, and you started playing drums when you were like five. Yeah, as long as I could remember. My mom says I just was banging on stuff, you know. So I, when people ask me, when did you start playing drums, I, I don't know. I've always been playing, you know, I've always been yeah. playing drums, so. Yeah, it's so, but it's know. so interesting because, like, you know, when you and I first started talking, when I moved here to Nashville, it's like I knew the one part of you as a producer, right. but I just didn't know all the other facets. Yeah, this is the most we've talked about. <laughs> I've, I've talked with anybody <laughs> about me playing drums or, or putting out a solo record, you right. know, with anybody. Because normally, normally when I'm on television or doing a radio interview, I'm talking about the new Buddy Guy record or yeah. what's it like to work with Which Keith with Richards Buddy or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're I'm just talking about that, and I'm I'm we're never they don't even ever bring up that I wrote the song or <laughs> played drums or <laughs> produced it. Well, yeah. we are in Nashville. I know. And, so, you know yeah, well, that's know, good. That's, this, this, is, you know, this is this is cool. Well, you know, and what I found so amazing too, and once again, you know, uh, with your voice and how much I like it, and it and it and it goes along with a lot of artists that I grew up listening to, is that you sing backup vocals on a lot of the people that you produce also. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's just, you know, something you'd have to read in the liner notes. And, but that's why some, some people, when they come to the studio, they go, so who's going to do the background vocals? I loved what you did on that, that record by Casey James or whatever. Right. And I go, well, I did the background vocals, so I can do those. <laughs> you know, but, you know, they would have to read the liner notes yeah. to know that. But, you know, that, and i got to tell you once again, you know, and I know you and I are a little older school, but that's why I like a hard copy of the album, and I missed the vinyl because, you know, with a digital download, and it's great, you can take it anywhere, but here, I actually open it up and see you smoking a nice cigar, but also I get to see everybody that worked with you on each song. And that's important to me. I mean, that's what I grew up with records, and, mm -hmm. and, and I, I wanted to know. That's how I discovered songwriters that I wanted to see, what I, who, listen to other things they wrote, or, or musicians that I went, that guitar player on this song is so good. What is his name? You know, and then I, then I would discover people, right. and uh, so uh, to me, I I have to have a hard copy. I, I have love to it. Know. I love it because yeah. I want to know the musicians. I yeah. mean, when when I heard the slide guitar, I wanted to know that it was Sunny. Oh yeah. When I heard the B three, I wanted to hear it. When yeah. the piano yeah. with Alan, yeah, on absolutely. Here, I, I want to know. Yeah. You know, and I, to me, and, and also I like the pictures. You know, and, yeah. and also with all the social media, you know, following you on Instagram and everything else, it's so much fun. See, I like seeing somebody I know kind of things blowing up. And this album's blowing up, man. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean. Besides your other little side stuff of producing and songwriting and tour with Buddy Guy and, you know, the side stuff. The side stuff. Yep, yep. <laughs> I know, I know, yeah. yeah. I'm an artist, man. Yeah, yeah. you do it all. <laughs> now, I want to make sure our viewers know, too, Tom, where is, uh, you know, your website? 
Is uh, that where they can you know buy the album and, and follow you on tour and everything? Yeah, yeah. I think it's just TomHambridge.com. Okay. And uh, and then there, there's you know there's Facebook and there's Instagram and all that stuff. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. well, and, and I'll tell you what, I highly recommend you follow Tom on Instagram too, because that is some of the most fun, you know, in my thread of things that I watch with, uh, you know, with the people that you're hanging out with. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, you know, the great quotes about how well this album is doing. And obviously you can buy it uh, anywhere that you buy your favorite music. You can download it. Personally, I think you should have this copy because you get to see all the people that played on here. And uh, I, think, just, I think if you go to my website, you can get a hard copy, you know, and I'll sign it to you and what all that even stuff. Better. So I think that's that's a that's probably the way to go. Yeah. yeah well, I'll here. tell you what, man. We're gonna we're gonna have to have you back on. We'll have to have your daughters on when their album comes oh, out. Oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. They're so good. I mean, uh, yeah. Well, I'm I'm their dad, so it's in the DNA. <laughs> yeah, you and your wife, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, pick up a copy. The Nola Sessions also. Go catch Tom on tour with Buddy Guy. You know, uh, a lot of the music that you're listening to on radio and that you're buying already, Tom was a part of it, and, and he's just a, a creative force of nature. And i got to tell you, I love this album. Thank you so and much. I'm that so means a lot. I appreciate it. it. I appreciate so, you listening to that. Tom Hambridge, The Nola Sessions. Thanks for watching The Rock and Review. Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review.